And staying with politics, Kanduini, member of parliament, Wafula Wamunyini, and his Tongaran counterpart, Sally Simiu, have ditched Ford Kenya for a new political party. The two lawmakers have been embroiled in a bitter political feud with Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula over the control of Ford Kenya. And as Zainab Said reports, the two now look set to forge a different political path with the Democratic Action Party of Kenya, DAPK. After failing to wrestle Ford Kenya from Moses Wetangula, Wafula Omunyini has jumped ship to chart a separate political course towards the 2022 general election. Present to witness the birth of the Democratic Action Party of Kenya was Defense Cabinet Secretary Eugene Wamalwa and his agriculture counterpart Peter Munya. <laughs> Na mtu. Waeleza, tumi najua, natoka huko. Na, na mtu yeyote. Watu wa mulima zaai wote wanarudi kwa Raila Amolo Odinga. Wote. Wote. Watu watashangaa wale wanafikiria ati sasa wao ndio wenye mulima. Kandunyi MP Wafula Mwenyinyi and his Tongarini counterpart Eseli Simiu say the Democratic Action Party of Kenya will work with like-minded parties to forge alliances ahead of the 2022 polls. <laughs> shall field candidates for all positions except for the position of president. The lawmakers accused Wetangula of holding Ford Kenya at ransom. The leaders say they will rally the Western region behind a progressive political agenda. For Prime Edition, I'm Zainab Said.